And what I'm going to do is just select my controller like this, and then shift select my uh, head here like so. I'm then going to go in and do an iron constraint. Now I have to go out to constraint and select the options box here for the orient because I have still have it set up for no Y constraint. And actually I'm just going to go constraint all and hit apply. So at this stage all I want to be able to do is just rotate it around and something's going really crazy because I have both of them selected. So I'll just select one of them and I should have some basic controls going on like so. It deforms like mad because we haven't done any skin weights yet. So what we'll do though is just finish this off. So actually I want to parent this head controller underneath this chest controller. So I'm just going to have this selected and then uh, shift select, sorry, control shift select my chest controller and hit P on the keyboard. And you'll see that it now is a child of this guy. Okay, you can also see there's some issues like so. This will be corrected later on with another tutorial. Uh, but this should form the basis of your guy like so. Alright, so let's look at doing some skin weights so we can sort of finish this off. But before we do that, what we'll do is we we'll tidy up our scene a little way. Here. So we just have a reference skeleton which we can hide and reveal. So also, also I'm going to do here is set up uh, my a layer for my controllers. So I'm going to create a new layer and, and put in what I have selected. I'm going to call this controllers. And I'll probably just give a color like green for the moment. It's easy to see. Yep. And I can hide it or whatever I want to do with it. Advantage of this is I can change the visibility of either all, depending on what I've got selected. And I'm going to create one more layer. This time with nothing selected. This one I'm just going to call MISC uh, rig setup. Save it. And this time I'm going to add from my outliner all of my uh, like spine IK curve, spine IKs, and everything else that I don't really care about into it. So add select objects, and I'm going to basically reference that and turn the visibility off. So the object of this is being able to just be to have something in the scene that you can only select the objects you want to animate, nothing else can be selected. So a nice tidy scene in which to work with. Alright, so <clears throat> let's sort of animate this into position or something with it. So what we can do is the animation you should give it at first would just be a simple animation to check deformation. So I'm going to look at the left hand side of the body. So what I'm going to do now is just going to select my first foot joint here and hit S on the keyboard. And I'm going to move it to frame 24. And on frame 24 I'm going to move this foot into a new position. Hit S and you see it animating. And I can twist the body here. So first frame, next frame. Okay. Set the first frame, next frame. I'm going to look at the hand. Yes, and finally I'm just going to do the head here and rotate it. So this lets us see any of the ugly deformation. And the areas we're looking at here is how it sort of folds in here a little bit too much, as well as here in the uh, elbow area. But you can really, really see the face. Just absolutely look like an alien. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the face in particular. So I can close my outline in there 
I can hide my controllers because I don't want them. I'm going to get to my geometry where I put in the layer and just turn off the reference so I can select it. But essentially we're going to be looking at geometry now. So let's just look at the weight tools and uh, how we're going to fix up the head here. So move into frame 24. Let's do this. Alright, so I'm going to go to my skin and I'm going to go to edit smooth skin and I'm going to look for one that says paint skin weights tool and I'm going to hit the options box here. This will load up uh, my paint weight skin tool on the left hand side and you can see some options for radius, the type of brush you're using. So this is your type of brush, uh, your working radiuses and then we have our bones here we're working on. So if you look at your model you can see that it's selected, pre-selected our first bone in the hierarchy. So I'm going to go through the list here and look for where it says head and select it. And there it is. So at this stage I'm just going to paint weights for this uh, to make every vertice in the head be influenced by the head bone. So I'm going to go down the list here and I'm going to look for some options here. So paint operation replace will replace one value with another. The add option will just keep adding a value on top. So if you want to put small value, we'll basically we'll add to the previous value. So you can just do this. And just keep painting. And of course we can change the radius here. This can also be done by holding down B on the keyboard. Okay, so we can manipulate that by just holding down B. And but what I'm going to look at is just doing replace at this stage. And I'm going to replace all the values in the head with one for the head bone. So you just go ahead and just start painting away. And just around the, the jawline. And this is kind of the objective of painting weights. So Essentially, Maya doesn't get it right, depending on a, f a few different things, because it's just a program at the end of the day using some algorithms which are not as good as some applications out there. So I'm just going to paint the eyes on the inside of the head as well. Okay. And you can scroll through your animation, of course, to be able to get the areas that you couldn't see before. And essentially, that's it. Spot right there. So, if you scrub through your animation, there's a little bit more deformation going on that I didn't want. But you essentially have fixed that now. Check some of the other bones that might be influencing, like the head end. So there's still a little bit going on here. So you could replace that with zero. It's been locked. Skin weight, head. It's not quite getting any of those values. Essentially, that's your um, opacity. So head end value zero. So I was adjusting the wrong one. Apologies. Uh, but you get the idea. So opacity and value. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to remove some of those values out of here. So this is the objective of essentially this setup. So it's removing all the values that I don't want influencing this. I go to head. Should be able to paint that completely one. And scrub through the animation. You see some issues around the chin here still. Probably something to do with my collar. Yep. So just paint a value. None. Just check the 